spiritual meaning of numbers one to nine and how it connects to your destiny when you see numbers one to nine in your dream or any of number one to nine in your dream what does it actually mean how are you going to connect it or align it with your destiny number in order to get answers to your prayers very fast or how do you connect your destiny number with your guardian angel relation with the numbers one to nine so that it will bring quickly into manifestation whatever you desire by god's grace in the last videos i was able to explain to you how to ascertain your destiny number the relation of your destiny number to your personality and career who you should marry as far as your destiny number is concerned and by god's grace in today's video i want to look at the spiritual meaning of this number so that you will quickly be using them in your life to achieve your life destiny so if only you can follow me to the end of this video you will actually discover it because discover leads to recovery so that you will be able to appropriate it in your life and achieve your God within destiny. Welcome once again to Jenny Action TV. In this particular channel, I discuss three important variables which are actually health, safety, and spirituality. Believe me, if you can master and appropriate this trick correctly in your life, there is no limit to your achievement. If this is the very first time you're landing in this channel, you're highly welcome. So please do well to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that you will always get notified by YouTube once I upload a new video. For my returning subscribers thank you so much i appreciate you for all your comments your thumbs up your sharing the video i am so grateful if you are a new timers please do well to hit the red subscribe button and be part of the family don't just be a viewer believe me god brought you into this channel for a purpose and may that purpose be actualized go through my channel you see lots and lots of video that will help to lift up your spirit and make you a better individual so without wasting time let's get straight to the video of today the video of today is actually going to be centered on meaning of each of the number and by God's grace, I'll be starting from number one. So today, allow me to start from number nine. You see, when we talk of number nine, as far as destiny number is concerned, it simply means the nine fruits of God's Holy Spirit, irrespective of your religion. I used to tell you that if any religion you are is not connecting you to the Almighty God in heaven, you are wrong. But once it's connecting you, you are okay. And the Almighty God have Holy Spirit, which... Even Jesus, when he was leaving this earth, he said he's going to give us Holy Spirit. That when the Holy Spirit comes, he will teach us all truth. It means that there are truth that is existing in this world that is yet unknown. Only Holy Spirit teaches. That is why I laugh at people who come to my comment section to come and write one disgusting comment. They some will say that I'm not teaching uh, the right and I laugh at them because they are just speaking out of their own ignorance because if they should understand they will actually know that when jesus was living this earth he actually said that when he lived he's bringing us holy spirit and he will lead us to all truth because the, there are truth that are hidden that only holy spirit teaches and when you are appropriating your life you will surely make it now what does nine mean as far as holy spirit is concerned it means the nine fruits of the holy spirit which are gentleness faithfulness goodness joy kindness long suffering love peace self control it means that you are expected to have all this fruit in you and, and in terms of angelic number it simply simplifies love and the faith watch this video to the end i will now tell you how you can use it to bring into existence everything you need as someone who have this thing number nine then when we talk of eight eight actually symbolizes a new beginning you know that when god created heaven and earth he rested on the seventh day which is the number of perfection that was the end now it is a revibrating into a new thing a positive mindset a mental stability so this actually means that if you see it in your dream it means that the angel of god is telling you there is something new that is about to happen in your life likewise if you see nine in your dream the the angel of god is like and god is like telling you to come closer to me that you are far away i need you closer the fruit of the spirit is needed to be planted and to be working in your life it equally means like spiritual perfection completeness trying to align yourself better in working with god when we talk of seven seven is a number of perfection when you see seven in your in your dream 
the angel of God is communicating to you that that venture you are into, you are doing well in it. Then apart from that, generally spiritual, it also means peace. It also means harmony. It also means good luck. It means a lot of things. That's why sometimes when you write 347 and use it to make prayer, write your prayer point, it manifests quickly because 7 is synonymous with good luck. It bridges the gap between spirituality and the human world. People that are 7 like to venture into mysticism to find out the deep secret of this earth. No wonder the Bible says that the secret things belong to them that fear God. So, some of those people that normally come to write nonsense, I just see that people that lack the fear of God. Some people celebrate their ignorance by coming to write rubbish in my comment. But you know one thing, I don't actually reply them. I simply delete them and block them out of my channel because my life is repulsive to negativity because I don't want to think about any negative things. Second time, and I know that I have one grace. If I open my mouth to speak one negative word out of annoyance, it happens so fast. So that is why sometimes instead of trying to reply them, I simply block them off because they are operating at a low frequency. And if there are people I want to connect with, it's people that are operating in higher frequency that will help to push me up. So going back to the number six, number six simply means motherhood, caring, I care, safeguarding. That is why on the sixth day, God decided to create man and find out that man is incomplete, that he needed a woman to complete him, and he made Eve as a woman. Actually, women are the last born of God. So whenever you are seeing six in your dream, he's talking about motherhood, and you are a woman married, and you are looking for a child, and you see six in your in the dream, know that God is already saying that you are about to become a mother. And you also, as a man, you are seeing six in your dream, know that your wife is about to deliver, about to conceive. You also see six in your dream. Your, it is also a pointer that you need to be more careful that you are harsh and so on and so forth so it is number of motherhood number of caring number of petting so sometimes god might be telling you that you're not petting your wife and all that's why he's showing you number six in the dream then when we talk of number five number five simply means grace or merited favor so where if you are number five you have lots of grace that's why if you go to that next number in marriage you see that they have grace to marry almost everybody i think it's only number two that they can marry they have that grace enough grace abound for you enough favor that wherever you go you will get favor that is the meaning grace of god is following you and you will surely succeed you will succeed not because of your human strength we don't even get on top by a struggle like that it's only by the grace of god it means that the grace of god abounds then number four actually means how money you know number four is talking about work so that work spiritual you're saying there should be harmony there should be charity and spiritual loyalty then it's also mean four corners of the universe east west north and south now when if you are number four you can easily use it to manifest your request from god by demanding that blessings of god will locate you from four corners of the universe number three actually means creative and highly spiritual somebody that is creative when you see number three in your dream it means that your guardian angel is very close and is bringing a new venture that you can venture into do you actually know that number three alone is written 467 times in the bible that's to show you how good it is it means change it means progression it means determination so when you see it in your dream it actually means that you have determined there is determination in your destiny that you surely succeed on a venture that you are entering into. Then why number two actually means hope. It means union. It means by division, dividing something into two. So when you're seeing your number two in your dream, if it's not telling you, depends on how you see it, that there is division, maybe you're a married person, you, st you should start praying about divorce, or that you're, you're about to get married if you're single, and it's also synonymous with peace, perfect, and then divine purpose or perfect energy. Number two is a very good number. When you see it in your dream, it's, it's showing that your energy is full of positivity and perfection. The last but not the least is actually number one. Simply means a new beginning too. It's a spiritual number that it talks about leadership ability. God himself, the embodiment of almighty God. It is associated with full of positive energies, success, love, harmony. If somebody that wants to start a new venture, when you are seeing number one in your dream, it's actually a pointer that something new is about to take place in your life. You have to pray for it to come to manifestation. Now, if you have any of these destiny numbers, how do you actually use it and if manifest whatever your heart desire? Do you know that the more multiples, like when we are talking of 55, 22, 33, and others, the more multiple these numbers are, the higher their vibration and the ability to manifest your request. So sometimes when you are praying for something and you need it, it's not coming to pass please get me a plain white paper and get me a blue beak get me a blue beak this is blue even though they use red okay it's not red 
and then or green pick write your request maybe you need oj money to pay your school fees that one is two hundred thousand always try to be specific you write two hundred thousand and you write four four one 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 into four or triple one one there is a grace that is attached to you as far as that number is concerned if your destiny number is number two be used to writing triple two and the amount you need if your destiny number is number three triple three and the amount you need use it to praise fervently Put it under your pillow and sleep for the next seven days. Number of perfection. Believe me, before you know it, every day you continue bringing it out to pray. That thing will come to pass. Another thing is you can get bay leave. Bay leave is good to manifest any of your requests. Now, to make that manifestation very, very fast, what do you do? And on top of that bay leaf, if you don't know uh, what is bay leaf, please go through my channel. I make a, a lot of videos about bay leaf. Now, when you get that particular bay leaf, you write exactly what you need maybe you need money you need to be married then you write marriage you need to be reunited with your partner reunion then you anything you need write it on that bill if it's synonymous with a manifestation of good thing to you and then triple whatever destiny number you have 999 or 888 or 777 or CCC or 555 or 444 or 333 or 222 or 111. So when you write it, you use it and make your prayer seriously. You can do it for three days too. At first day, you put it under your pillow. Second day, you put it on your Third day, you, you after putting it under your pillow, when you wake up on the fourth day, burn it and go and blow it on early morning sun. Then when you blow it, you begin to thank God that it has come to manifestation. Within a short time, you see that thing manifest. So just go and try it. Start applying this destiny number. And like I said, the first day I also teach it, that whenever you see yourself like you're traveling, fix it on that day of your destiny number, you will always be preserved because there is a special grace following you. You go for occasion, try to sit on the number of the seat of your destiny number. You will surely be favored. You are going for job interview. Try to be the number. Let's say there are 20 people to interview and your destiny number is eight. Force yourself to make sure that you're number eight to be interviewed. It will, be, it will be hard not for you not to get that job. You are going for visa interview, do the same thing. So try to be using it rampantly now in your life. You will see that doors will begin to open for you. Understand that God did not actually bring us into this world to suffer, but that things will be moving rosy rosy for us. It's actually ignorance. We have not really aligned ourselves with our destiny so that the, our guiding angel and the grace, supernatural forces release for us be able to help us to work effectively. So with this, I've actually come to the end of this video. If you find value in it, please give me that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification so that you'll be able to get my next upload. Please share this video and channel to everyone. You might also be helping others to get this uh, full knowledge. Still your lady, Jenny, saying bye-bye.